to 1,000 metres, and this promises to be a very special race indeed. Noah Nguyen, the 21-year-old Kenyan, who took the silver medal in the World Championships, 1,500 metres, behind Il Rouge in this race. Now, he made a very, very close failed attempt at the World 1,000 metres record in Nice some eight weeks ago, and he's going for it again. Here is Nguyen. The pace is very quick indeed. You can see Steve Holman and Diaz there towards the back of the field, really struggling to stay with his pace. Italian Longo also looking good. As they come up through 300 metres, this pace very, very quick indeed. Nien there in second place. How he's picked him up this well, himself up this well off the World Championships, I have no idea, Julian. We've got to show what type of remarkable athlete he is. It's very hard to really pick yourself up after a World Championships and uh, the Gosha Show is obviously very, very talented. Well, the pole vault competition also on in the field. That 1,000 metres, they've gone through 400 metres in 49.66. They come round now into the straight to the penultimate time. Now, when Yen missed the world record by just tenths of a second, 2.12.66, he ran about half a second, he missed the world record. He went through 451, he's gone through 59, 49 and a half here today. 52-2 that lap. He goes through 600 metres and around 117. And still he looks relaxed as Nien as he goes into the back straight for the final time. This is going to be very quick indeed. And Sebastian Coe's world record, just over 18 years old, now under serious threat. Nien there leads. He's got company though. He's not on his own. Also going well there. Just looking. 800 metres, 144.62. He's well on schedule here, he's slightly quicker than in Nice. Now he needs a final 200 metres of around 27 seconds flat. And this is fabulous running from Nien. Comes into the straight now. Can he hang on? The clock ticking away, 2.5, 2.6. He's looking for 2.12.18. It's going to be very close indeed. Nien to the line and he gets it. The world record of Sebastian Coe. Sebco's final world record, indeed, the last world record of the British great golden era of middle distance running has gone. 2.11.96 for Nien makes him a world record holder in his own right, of course. In Rome a couple of months ago, broke the world record for the mile, but finished a stride behind Morsley. And that just confirms once more, Julian, what an incredibly quick track this is. Absolutely, and also an incredible athlete he is as well, because he's running consistently all year, all season, second in in Seville and to try and end the year in such a remarkable time of world record boy it's like his dream comes true that is astonishing he didn't come from nowhere in the end last year ran 215 and they uh, had a 330 to his name for good measures as well but this track with world records set in it by Nuruddin Morsley in 1992 for 1500 meters for the mile the following year and of course that mile record of Morsley's from 1993, six years ago today. Well, Rieti has worked its magic once more. It's up in the hills, slightly at altitude, up in the hills, a couple of hours drive from Rome. Absolutely perfect conditions. There it is, magical figures, the 212 barrier broken. Funnily enough, I had dinner with Sebastian Coe last night up in Glasgow and Seb was in a fine mood. I'm sure he had no idea that this was going to happen to his one remaining track.